This is why the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, he clearly says, لا فضل لعربي على عجمين ولا لعجمين على عربي ولا لأبيض على أسود and so on and so on. And he says, إلا Baby, you can call me a Superman. Shut your tongue, tell me that you're a Superman. Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy, Jesse Keegan, and we are Funny and Jesse. So right about now, we're gonna do another reaction video, and this one right here, I think, is talking about more of arrogance and uh, um, you can be wealthy and also humble humble yourself and something like that and this one is moved to Meng. so without any further you guys let's get it then he says the issue of humility and humbleness is addressed why my brothers and sisters in this world when we have got things slightly the way we want it sometimes we become arrogant sometimes you know you have a person for example very wealthy if he's wealthy and he's arrogant he needs to know that there are people who have more wealth, but they are humble. Allahu Akbar. If a person has good looks and they are arrogant because they think they are beautiful, you know, there are people who have better looks, but they are humble. So this world is a competition. Competition in the sense to do good. Fastabiqul khayrat. Allah says compete with one another when it comes to doing good. So if you think you are hot, there is someone hotter than you, but more humble. Wow. We've worded it lightly. Wording of the youth. If you think you're a big deal, there is someone who is a real big deal, but they are more humble than you are. Subhanallah. Down to earth. You won't even know. Someone sitting with you and you ask him, sorry sir, and he won't even tell you who he is. Tomorrow you find out this was the CEO of a huge company. Wow. He was sitting right next to me. I can't even believe it. Why? Because he's humble. And me, I've got five real in my pocket and I walk around here. <laughs> I'm the boss. What? what is that? Allahu Akbar. So, so this is why Allah says here, وَلَا تُصَعِّرْ خَدَّكَ لِلنَّاسِ وَلَا تَمْشِ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَحَا Never turn your cheek away from the people in this arrogance. Me. I don't know if, if I did it right, but I, I <laughs> Allah forgive us. Really, I'm just showing you to say that this is what sometimes people do. They really turn their heads. Allah says, don't do that. Don't give your cheek to the people to say, no, no, I'm bigger than you, better than you. No, the only time you will be better is when you get your book on the right hand on the day of judgment. Then you can say, wow. Allahu Akbar. Allah says it in the Quran. Those who are given their books in the right hand, they will have the right to say and they will utter the words, Oh, read this book of mine. Wow, I'm so happy. On this day, I am the happiest. I have this happiness given by Allah that I got my book on the right hand. May Allah grant it to all of us. That is the day. But before that, we are nobodies. We are nothing. Really, we are nothing. The only difference is taqwa. This is why the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, he clearly says, لا فضل لعربي على عجمين ولا لعجمين على عربي ولا لأبيض على أسود and so on and so on. And he says, إلا بالتقوى. There is no virtue of an Arab over a non-Arab and vice versa. Or a black over a white and vice versa. Except by piety. You are close to Allah, you are higher. And the closer you are to Allah, the more humble you will be. It's a sign, it's a sign. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us humbleness and humility. May He make us people who do not turn away from people just because of a little bit that Allah has given us. And the worst is he who doesn't have anything. He has nothing, but still he's arrogant. Wow, that's the worst. Neither are you intelligent. You know, some people, they think they are intelligent. And this we need to say it because when the young people are sharp, sometimes we haven't advised them. Some of our children are very clever, but at school, they make like they are it. They make like they are it, you know. They don't listen. To the others, they make like they are a step above. We as parents need to make them, you know, calm them down. To say, listen, you are coming out first in your class. Be humble. Talk to the others properly. You know, be good. So many people have come out first in class, but they found it hard to find a job. Do you know that? Wallahi. I know of people who, bec who became top doctors, medical field, and yet they took years to find an appropriate job. Allahu Akbar. Good, good people. So this shows that, you know what? 
it doesn't mean you came first in class so you are above the rest. No! May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors, grant us ease and goodness. We need to be humble and we need to be down to earth. And don't walk on this earth with pride, with arrogance, tread properly. So people say, look at that guy, he's so arrogant, he's driving a Lamborghini. No! Arrogance is not connected to the type of car you are driving. It is connected to your attitude. Even if you are driving a Corolla like mine, and you have an attitude, you are arrogant. And if you are driving a Bugatti, I'm sure Qataris would know what that is. <laughs> but your attitude is humble. You are not proud. You can be living in a palace, and you can be the most humble person. Because you respect those who work for you. You greet people. You have a humanitarian feeling for others. That is humbleness. You treat people with respect. That's what humbleness is. Treat people with respect. That is Islam. And that is taught in the Quran. That is humbleness. So what we need to know, how much wealth you have and what type of house or car you have or clothing you have is not arrogance. Arrogance is described in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu as rejection of the truth and despising people. Two things. The Prophet sallallahu says, when you mock at people and you don't respect them, it means you're arrogant. And when you reject the truth, when it comes to you, it means you're arrogant. Subhanallah. Because the Sahaba radiallahu anhum asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa when he says, لا يدخل الجنة من كان في قلبه مثقال حبة من خردل من كبر He says, a person who has in his heart even the weight of a mustard seed of pride will not enter paradise. So the Sahaba radiallahu anhum were worried. They said, O Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we like our clothes to be neat and everything, you know, our conveyance to be good and so on. He said, that's not the pride we are speaking about. The pride we are speaking about is when you reject the truth and when you despise people. Two things. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to respect one another as human beings and at the same time, may He keep us humble. Wow. Such a powerful message right here by Mufti Menk. I like Mufti Menk. Mufti Menk has some nice um, teachings and he's really more into reality, things that are happening in the society. So today he's just talking about arrogance. And I don't, I don't understand why people are arrogant in the first place. Why would you want to be arrogant to other people? Does it add value into your life? Does it put food on the table? Or is it just something that uh, you feel like you want to do it because you feel like you're above somebody? You get my point? That's why I moved to Menk over here, just broke it down in a, in a very, very um, amicable way. That you can be having a lot of money, wealth, as soon as you're arrogant, it defeats the purpose of just you uh, being, you know, even wealthy. Get my point? Because in the eyes of Allah or God, you're just as as the same as that person who who is uh, is arrogant and he doesn't have it all or something like that. You get my point? I mean, there's there's a lot of lessons here that people should learn or something. Uh, there are two different type of people. There are people who are arrogant and they have lots of money or wealth and there are people who are so humble and they are wealthy. You get my point? I think we should try and emulate those kind of people. People who are wealthy and they are humble to, to, to themselves and also other people. Okay? They treat people in a respectable manner, not being arrogant to to any type of individual. I think that's, that's, that's so rude and uncouth. Such a nice discussion over here and Mufti Menk has put it in a in a in a right way. Because look, at the end of the day you might be rich and arrogant and the only way for you to to go past, you know, God is through judgment. You get my point? And you're gonna be judged accordingly on how you lived on earth. And also, I mean, it's gonna be so bad for you because the thing is you had all this money and you acted so arrogant and it's just going to be shameful, you get my point. And also you mentioned something about, uh, there are also people who think that they're, they're, they're already above other people in terms of maybe uh, brain-wise and whatnot, and then you end up tamaking. By tamaking, I mean you end up 
uh, not finding the job that you really wanted and that person who you mocked or maybe you displayed arrogance to he ends up getting a job even uh, in front of you or ahead of you so you see the world works in a way that it kind of humbles you down you get my point so the whole aspect of uh, virtue and vice is just to to understand um, how they operate you get my point you know we need to apply virtues to our daily lives and just forget about the vices because vices is just is going to end us to a place where you wouldn't want to be and i think if you understand uh what most men just mentioned you'll clearly know that arrogance is not a good thing arrogance is something that we need to put behind our back when we address other people out there anyway this is such an amazing topic here by moved mank and this is really amazing and anyway, if you feel like i reacted to the video in a better way let's give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about my reaction what you feel about moved mank over here on this video and if um on moved mank over here if you have any kind of reaction video just let us know in the comment section below and we're gonna react to it and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to a lot of videos to give us a better better content also if you go on the description below we have some links over there just make sure to support us in each and every way i know that uh you guys can support us i know that i know uh you've seen the the far that you've gone and you've seen how we're doing things and i know with uh, your humbleness and your humility you'll be able to support us in each and every way anyway thank you so much and I'm going to see you rather we're going to see you in the next video and peace out.